So, how do we create project? Well, click on the projects. Well, before we do that, we have to make sure that the license is there. So you have to create your own license. Well, it's easy. So you're going to get the free personal license and it's free until you start making over a quarter million dollars per year on, with this project. Until then, it's free. So what you need to do is just go add license, get a free personal license and yeah that's more or less it then now we have the license and you can go back and create new project amazing stuff all right now here you will see that there are templates that you can use to do, to create new new projects the one that i have there is 2d platform and micro game but there is more there is core there is some others there's samples there's learning templates etc you could start with core which is okay but the visual fidelity and quality of core templates is not good enough for what we're doing so i would need something better and there's two more rendering pipelines which one of them is universal and the third one is high definition rendering pipeline high definition rendering pipeline will be too much for the devices that we're going to be using so we need the universal 3d rendering pipeline and we are going to install it there's other templates like ar vr that you might install but you don't want to install those stick to the universal 3d rendering pipeline which is offers the best compromise be between quality and performance okay so cool so click on that download the template and now we have to name our project so when you're naming your project and saving it somewhere you have to make sure first that when you're naming the project it is a very something very simple it doesn't really have any numbers or, or special characters or stuff like that so it's and i would even go with all small caps if you really have to have some kind of space then use underscore but i will go with small caps there so i will call my, my project test one no spaces of course and then go click on the location i would save it on the desktop i totally don't recommend this because a this connect your desktop is connected to your onedrive and that will definitely corrupt your files and uh, destroy your project so in the on the drive c you will have a folder or if you don't have one create one that would call it like offline or something like that where you have your project saved well this is sandbox so i'm not really going to do that so i'm going to save it on, on the desktop but you have that on the computers on campus and on your computer and you'll be okay and when it comes down to transferring files between those folders i would use some kind of external hard drive or some some bigger device even 32 or even 16 gigabytes USB thumb drive will do. So right now, I will save it on the desktop, but please, you don't do that. That's a terrible, terrible practice. Okay, cool. Desktop, new folder. Let's call it projects. And then in that folder, just select that and unity will create a new folder inside which will be called test one cool 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 all good ready to go and create the project okay now usually when you open the project for the first time when you initialize it or you open it for the first time when you transfer your files from one hard drive to the other or any case when you open it for the first time it will take a while to generate the library and the cache files but afterwards it is doesn't take really that long to open the files as soon as those are generated so your second third and any subsequent uh, starts will be way faster okay there we go we have the first unity project that you've probably created if you created one before that's amazing but yeah so what we can do here now is click play 
and now you've created the first game kind of well it's not a game but it's it's a test so you are testing if everything is working right so if if you are here and you have this done then you're good to go regarding unity this trimester